Hey guys, um, in this tutorial I'm just going to briefly show you guys how I recreated uh, sub focuses Tidal Wave featuring Alpines. A guy on my Facebook page named Chris Toro actually asked me to do this. Uh, he used the Silence 1, so I did the best I could to recreate this in Silence 1. I noticed that in the song, which I'm pretty sure is true, that they use Massive due to the LFO pitch rates and uh, cutoffs. It's a little more in-depth and there's a lot more range you can do with your pitches and your uh, and your waves in uh, Massive and in Serum as well, but he wanted this in silent, so I will do this for him in silent. Anyways, the notes are pretty close to the same. Um, they may not be perfect, but this is not for the notes. It's more for the synth, more for the sound, more for what you're, you can use it for. I don't want anyone ripping the artist off, right? So it's okay. The sound that I got is this right here. Um, I literally just made this, so I didn't really get a good chance over what I literally did, so I'll, I'll explain over top of everything I did, and then you can build it from there. I just don't really want to rebuild this exactly from scratch when I just made it like five minutes ago. <laughs> so the first thing that I always do is I go in and I initialize the presets. I suggest you do that now. And then I drop my octave on oscillator A1, just down one. I brought this to a square wave, or in this silence one it's known as pulse wave, hit the invert button, bring this up to six voices, re-trigger on. From there, I took my oscillator A1, I brought the volume to 6.76, my phase to 156 degrees, detune on oscillator A1 is set to 2.62, uh, stereo is all the way up, pan is left where it is, from there, I went over to my second oscillator, oscillator A2. Turned this to a pulse wave as well. Hit the invert button again on this right here. From there, I brought it up to seven voices, re-trigger on, stereo is all the way, pan is left where it was. Detune, I detuned it at 2.57. I brought my phase to 147 degrees. I did this just lower than the other one, by a little bit because it's gives it more of a fill in the room. You'll get more of that nice uh it's hard to explain. Um anyways, it fills up the room a bit nicer or your headphones or whatever you're using quite nicely. I took my volume and on I was here too and I dropped it to seven point thirty eight. From there, the next thing I did I was going to my amp envelope right here, brought my attack up to one point ninety I brought my decay up to 3.74, uh, sustain all the way up. My release just under half, so about 4.20. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your filter A over here, and bring your cutoff to about 377 hertz, and your resonance to just under 6. I also brought my drive to 6.10 degrees. And again, I just left it at uh, 24 dB. Uh, the filter type is a low pass right here. So once you got the first section done right here with all your modulations, go over to part B. The next part is I want you to take your both your ray triggers off on both sides and on oscillator B1, turn your voices up to three. From there, bring your octave up one, leave your volume full, leave your phase where it was at, it's all the way down. Take your detune to 2.57, then take your leave your stereo where it is, pan where it is, go to your amp envelope on the second part, bring up your attack to 1.61, take your decay right here to five, about five degrees, sustain again all the way up, release is about 5.23, so just, just over half right there. On the second part, also to be two, I brought it up about two octaves. Uh, I took my phase to 202 degrees right here, detuned to 3.52, again, just so they're not quite matched, same with your phases, not quite matched, 
I've left my stereo all the way and my pan all the way there. So make sure this is at five voices and both waves are set to saw waves. All right. Filter B, I took my cutoff and brought it to about 8,000 8, hertz, uh, or about 8,700 hertz, somewhere just close to there. My resonance is all the way down, my drive is all the way down, and left at 24 dB, again, on a low-pass filter. All right, now for the fun stuff, the modulations. Um, actually, it's actually pretty easy, so I don't know about that. The, what I did was, oh, this doesn't matter. I went over to my LFO right here. You might have to play around with this to get that nice kind of moving feel. Um, it's kind of a touch basis on this one. So what I did was I took my rate to one triplets or one, one second triplets and I modulated the gain all the way up. Uh, left free off, offset directly in the middle. And you can click this button like the middle right here and go over to shit, LFO. Or alpha one right there, I just did that. And then I took the dial and put it to negative two point three three eight for the modulation alpha amount. Uh, cutoff A B is just very slightly moved to the right. I moved it just to point thirty eight. You really don't need a whole lot. Um, the more you do it, the more sounds can be cut up on this. And I'll just show you. <laughs> Kind of just makes it a little more eerie. Go back, I guess. Yeah. Um, from there, like I said, just take cut off AB and hit this one to 0.38. From that point on, I want you to go to your mono legato over here, turn this on, leave it at north, and bring your portamento up to about 5.62. You may have to play around with this to get that slide exactly how you want to adjust to each note value. At this point, I just brought up my saw waves here on the oscillator V2 a little bit higher than my square waves because I noticed with square waves, especially in silence, that they kind of get, I don't know, like cartoony almost, or very, they're very like analog, like cheaply sounding. Uh, I really don't like the square waves in silence only use them for like pads mostly or plucks those are like mainly the only things I will, I will use myself for or my squares for in silence one so I just dropped that down just a little bit uh, that's more of an acquired taste I went over to my course here and I brought my depth down to about 44% rate is what's directly in the middle uh, delay is about 13 to 14 milliseconds uh, my feedback, I brought it quite down to actually about 18 to 19 percent. Um, you really don't want a lot of this, but it does fill out quite nicely. I brought my dry wet down to about 25, anywhere between 25 to 30 percent. It's actually not too bad. Uh, don't go past that. Just do not go past it because then it sounds like crap after. Uh, the width, I just left it at 100 percent. I went to my delay over here and I used a 1 16th uh, dotted. Left the delay right where it is. I brought my low cut to 533 hertz. My high cut about 912 hertz. My smear all the way down, spread all the way up. Feedback is left the same. Width is 50%. Dry red again down to 23%. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully this is what the sound you were wanting to recreate. Um, you can do more to this by uh, adjusting your miscellaneous this year and just kind of hooking up things like loop to your mod wheel to just give a nicer feel to this. Anyways, for a better effect, I would add a, uh, a secondary reverb to this, like a high reverb, mono stereo, you know, all that fun stuff. Other than that, um, there's other things you can do. It's just like add compressors and some uh, added LFO to the side of this. Obviously, you're going to want to EQ this. This is not EQ'd, but definitely, definitely add a add a stereo to this. Um, I would add a stereo and show you, but my computer uh, sound card is really shit right now. I just need to upgrade it. It's kind of garbage. <laughs> but uh, when you add a, add a reverb to it, I'll just use silences for now to kind of show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> just use your reverb. Go into your in instruments, I mean, sorry, audio effects over here, and also grab yourself in a utility. 
utilities are great to make these uh, kind of sound bigger and everything. Also, if you do have it, I recommend using it. Um, grab a imager. Uh, this is going to help fill out everything a lot better, too. So, Stereo One imager is actually quite nice. I use it in a lot of my tracks, actually, to bring out and boost out volume. Um, you got to be very careful when you're doing this, as you can do. Uh, it can sound very shitty if you do it wrong. Bring my width all the way up on that, by the way. The reverb. Um, it's going to switch. Hopefully this won't glitch as bad for you guys. Just show you kind of an idea with reverbs, why I always love using them. Yeah, now it might sound a little bit different. It's pretty much your way, bring down low cut, bring down high cut, bring the quality high. Uh, I wish my computer would be nicer to me. Bring up the gain just a little bit. I'll bring that up a little bit higher. And there you go. That is kind of the best I could do, and hopefully it helped. For Silent One users, all right. Uh, remember to like and subscribe my page. I have two pages now. I do digital graphic art design for artists. Um, any artwork you want done for limited time, by the way, it is free. Yes, free, by the way. Um, the page is just my Facebook page known as JTech Album Designer, and my JTech Music page, where you can contact me to ask about uh, tutorials or information. I'm usually pretty quick to respond as long as I'm not at work. Uh, if I'm on the computer, I will pretty much respond within like an hour at most, if I'm not available. And on the arts page, just leave a message and um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can on that. All right, you guys, take her easy and remember to subscribe. Have fun.